Hey friends, this is Michelle. Let me set up my phone camera here so you can have a better view. I'm sorry if it's shaky. I'm trying to make sure I can get this right. Okay, good, good. Is that a good view for you? I hope it is. I just been tracking what I'm eating and uh, it's just one of the things. It seems simpler for me to you know, when I used to eat every couple of hours, every time I would eat, I would think about what I'm going to eat next right after I eat. Okay, and when I'm going to eat, I would be counting, using my fingers every so often, count out how many, how much more time I've got left. Okay, so I, because I, I did this for a good long time, would be like, okay, I had, you know, a boiled egg or I had something. I was like, okay, you know, or I had a piece of fruit. And I'll be like, okay, I've got to eat in two to three hours. And it was just, it consumed my thoughts a lot. When, when I was going to eat next, what I was going to eat next, you know, and I would definitely get hungry, you know, pretty quickly because each time I ate every two hours was a small, something small. It could have been a banana or an apple and peanut butter or something like that. And it, it just got, my whole life was just thinking about, okay, I've got to eat every every couple of hours. And it was so frustrating. And since I've started this higher fat diet, not just my nails are a lot better than they u ever used to be. But also my, um, I'm full a lot longer and I don't, I'm not thinking about food as often. I just eat, try to eat larger, higher calorie meals. Um, less frequently and I feel better more energy I don't feel as tired and I don't experience hunger as often as I was when I would eat every two hours so I've already had me some broccoli and uh, let's see what else I have I had some blackberries this morning because I love blackberries right now at the store they're cheapest because mine didn't produce her for whatever reason I had some so I had some broccoli and I had a, like a hamburger patty that my husband made up. I've been measuring out my broccoli and stuff in a container, putting it in there and all that. So I'm going to probably get ready to eat again. It's what time is it? Let me see. It's almost 2 o'clock. So almost 2 o'clock and I'll be eating pretty much basically my second meal of the day. I suppose if you want to call it that. But I'm going to be eating some eggs I'll go ahead you know you don't have to eat eggs for breakfast all the time you can eat them any time of the day so I'm gonna have some eggs and butter and some cauliflower and more broccoli um and I think later I might have some pecans and some peanut butter um I use the all natural peanut butter you have to stir it and put it in the refrigerator it's the kind that doesn't have it's just nuts and salt in it um but yeah I hope everybody's week has been going well. It's Thursday. I've been uh, just, you know, trying to get things situated. My husband started a new job. My son started college too. So it's, and we're only got the one vehicle. So we're driving. I'm, you know, it's trying to make sure everybody gets everywhere at the same time. I've been enjoying kind of staying at home uh, a couple of days a week and not going anywhere. I mean, you get so tired of driving and going everywhere. So, I've been cleaning up the house really good. It's nice to have a few days every so often just to really deep clean, paint walls, whatever the case. Um, I am debating on painting a wall back here in the kitchen another color. Most of the walls are like a light tan color, a light tan. Um, so, I'm thinking, do I want... I could do this this one wall I have fixed a I used some what was that patch stuff what was that called hang on a minute I used some presto patch to patch a little hole in the wall and now I'm like okay I've sanded it down I've got to paint it and what do you think leave the is it just too much to try to paint all the walls in the kitchen what do you think of painting one wall? Uh, I mean, 
like I said, every other, all the walls are like a light tan color, beige color. Very, um, yeah, I would say it's kind of a beige color. So, what do you think? Painting one wall a darker tan color or like a peachy pink color? It's one of these walls that's facing the window, so light from outside would hit that wall, probably. So, yeah. But, I guess that's all I wanted to talk about. Other than, you know, I'm going to go work out today. My chest and all that sore from my workout the other day. I like doing, I feel like I get the most bang for my time if I you do lying chest flies with the dumbbells. I feel like it, it really engages the chest a lot more than sitting upright doing the chest flies. So, yeah, um, I did that the other day, and so I'm feeling it. My chest is really tender, you know, a pie, and the armpit area. So, today I'm going to work on the lower body, some squats, goblet squats, and leg press, and the maybe some and deadlifts some people argue over whether deadlifts are for the back or for your legs but I read and watched a video they say if you're feeling it in your lower back you're doing the deadlift wrong you want to feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings and engage your glutes when you come up so yes so you if you have back pain or feeling in back deadlifts are done wrong if you're feeling it in the lower back so I guess that's about it you know and I, I get these text things from Baskin Robbins do you ever get coupons or anything like that from places that have treats they sent me a thing two dollars off of a milkshake I haven't had one in forever last time I had a milkshake I think my stomach hurt really bad I'd have to take something I found this stuff that's supposed to be for food intolerance. Um, I may have to give it a go, but I don't think I've, I haven't really lost any more weight. So, I'm thinking probably not a good time to have a treat. I've got this coupon, excuse, sorry for the noise from my cabinets, for this, I think it's expired, or it may expire today, the Halo Top. Have you, have you had Halo Top before? I don't know if you're getting this. Yeah, two dollars. Save two dollars off on two Halo Top. I've seen a lot of people like this. Um, I don't know. Me, I'd probably eat the whole thing. I heard that some of them don't taste that good. I watched a, a YouTube video of this woman reviewing all the Halo Top ice creams. She took a bite of each one and all that. So, and she said some of them didn't taste good. Well, I guess that's about it. I better get to making this because it won't be long I'll have to go back out since um, my husband had the vehicle this morning I took him to work for the afternoon I've got to go pick him up he's got to go to his other job right after this job I know it's frustrating it's frustrating with all that so and I gotta get on to my son about doing his assignments because yeah Though he's doing college classes, he still has high school classes to complete as well. Because so I'm like, I'm not giving you no diploma. Because as you know, I homeschool. I'm not giving you no diploma if you ain't got everything done. Oh, goodness gracious. What else is there to talk about? I can't think of anything. Do you? Comment below if you have any thoughts on any of this. Workouts or Halo Top ice cream or whatever sometimes you're so stressed out and in a hurry you're thinking I've got to have something I am just but yeah I'm sure once I eat my eggs I'll do good but yeah my fingernails I feel a lot better it's when I eat the carbs that I feel the heavy carbs processed carbs not broccoli and vegetables vegetables unlimited if you eat a high fat diet don't forget eat a ton of vegetables everywhere I've seen said the eating enough vegetables on a higher fat diet 
will help prevent a fatty liver. If you exclude di uh, vegetables out of your diet, uh, when you're eating high fat thinking, vegetables are no-no because they're carbs, but there are like hardly any carbs in vegetables. So you can, you don't want to do damage to your liver or kidneys and everything. So I'm taking a multivitamin and a magnesium citrate, just one, a small dose, not a big dose, because it can cause a laxative effect. So I'm taking that because they say when you're on a high fat diet, your body f just is all the minerals or you're losing a lot of minerals so you have to supplement and that's one reason why you eat a ton of vegetables so yeah I've got my broccoli got some cauliflower I already had some broccoli this morning so I'm having some more broccoli I may do spinach or Brussels sprouts later I don't know oh and another thing if you do want something I have checked it out that some things like pinto beans my husband and son love pinto beans. This is my last thought. And they are very high in carbs. Um, just, let's see, it says a quarter cup dry is 22 grams of carbs. That's pretty high if unless that's the only thing you're eating. But you could still eat pintos when you're on a high fat diet. You just don't eat as much. Um, like, uh, what did I put down? I think I ate a tablespoon of pintos. Um, with some other food, of course. I didn't eat it by itself. And it's like, I figured up a tablespoon is about 15 calories and less than 2 grams of carbs. So, I mean, whatever you, like, if you, if, say for instance, you do want a donut, find someone to share it with. It reduces the amount. Uh, but they say, you know, when you eat a high-fat diet, you can't really, there's no cheat days if you're doing keto or something, but... There's a lot of research on that keto thing, but a lot of people not researching it themselves and posting comments, negative stuff about it as well. It's not a diet really, it's more of a lifestyle, especially, you know, I've read how long you can go on there and apparently you can stay on it for years. There's people that's been on it for years and reversed a lot of problems, the health problems. Oh well. And I've got a friend that's on it, and she's been great. She lost weight, but she did it, I guess, so because she had a hard time getting pregnant, had PCOS and all that. Okay, I better quit now. I will catch you guys. Comment below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you later. I'm sorry, still using my phone. One day I'll get up with the times. Talk to you later.